In this video, I want to talk about the Cori cycle. The Cori cycle is an example actually of substrate cycling, um, which is just the idea that we can have two different reverse processes occurring at the same time. In this case, we're going to talk about glycolysis and gluconeogenesis occurring at the same time. And if you recall, before, we mentioned that you can't have glycolysis and gluconeogenesis going on in the same cell at the same time. That wouldn't make sense. Why would you want to break down glucose and make glucose at the same time? doesn't make sense. So then how would both of these processes be occurring at the same time? How is this possible? What would we they'd both be happening, but just in different cells. So the example follows with, if a particular human is having, you know, a, a, a workout of some sort, they're exercising anaerobically without oxygen. Okay, so they're gonna, their muscle cells, they're gonna be working them, and their muscles are gonna be doing, undergoing glycolysis. So glycolysis will be occurring in their muscles. And we'll be converting glucose into pyruvate, and they'll be making ATP anaerobically. Now, when that happens, uh, in order to continue glycolysis, we need uh, a, a particular process to occur and so that we can regenerate NAD pluses because if we have a buildup of NADHs we we need to reoxidize those NADHs back into NAD plus so that we can have them available for glycolysis because they are a physical requirement of glycolysis and that process is called fermentation and this hopefully is all review so if we're f undergoing fermentation to regenerate NAD pluses if you recall um, that was lactate fermentation, so pyruvate was turned into lactate so as to regenerate NAD pluses from the NADHs that are formed. So lactate is a poison, and um, lactate, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a conjugate base of, a, of lactic acid, and we don't want lactic acid build up in our cells. It's, it's, it's toxic to our cells, and then if you'd like more about that, go ahead and Google uh, like lactic acid poisoning. Um, if you don't already know, um, there's, there's an organ in our body that is involved in detoxifying poisons, and that organ is the liver. So this lactate is taken to the liver to be reoxidized to pyruvate. And then once we have these pyruvates, gluconeogenesis occurs to make glucose in the liver. So this glucose then can go back to the muscle cells for glycolysis. So what's going on here? We're having glycolysis occurring in the muscles while gluconeogenesis is occurring in the liver. They're both happening at the same time. To get a visual, I'll draw this little diagram here. If we imagine this guy, this is a really buff dude, okay, and he went to the, to the gym because he wanted to get a good arm workout, so he wanted to work his biceps which I've brilliantly drawn here. <laughs> um, so I've labeled his, his muscles, his bicep muscle here, and uh, noted it in red. And this purple thing here is his liver. So he's going to be doing some bicep curls, and that's going to, he's gonna, that's gonna be a quick and vigorous workout. And when he's doing this, these muscle cells are going to need to um, be, be going through glycolysis. So what's going to happen? They, they, I mean, these muscle cells need ATP, so that's what they're going to do. They're going to undergo glycolysis. So when glycolysis occurs, they're going to have their glucose, right? And they're going to turn it into pyruvate and, of course, make those ATPs. But once we have this pyruvate, because there's no oxygen around, we can't go through the TCA cycle, which I haven't made videos on. They're actually coming up next. Um, but the pyruvate, once it's around, it needs to be uh, converted into lactate, right, through fermentation, so as to regenerate these NAD pluses. But then... Like I said, this lactate is toxic to our to our cells, so our body takes that lactate from our muscle cells. So this 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 is all happening in the muscles. Okay, this process here. I actually I've boxed it in red so that you can know that it's occurring in the muscles. This lactate, right, is going to go through our blood. Okay, all the way to our liver. Okay, so there's going to go lactate is going to go from here from the muscles to our liver via the blood circulation. Now when that lactate gets to the liver, it's going to be turned back into uh, pyruvate, and 
that pyruvate, well, you, for every two pyruvate they are, you're going to take those and turn them back into glucose. Now, once you've created that glucose, the liver can then dump that into the blood, and the blood can carry that glucose back to the, the muscle cell, and the muscle cell can, can have another glucose that it can break down. That's basically the Cori cycle. Hope that was helpful, uh, and thank you for watching.